Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode number 4 of the second season of the AC Charge. This episode, we're going to be recapping the last few games. We've come back one game early, because Inter Milan are currently sitting in 2nd, and Juventus are sitting in 7th, so it made more sense to do the Inter game. So we're going to do this game against Inter, and then the game against Valencia as well. Because the Champions League group isn't overly decided just yet. So, since the PSG game, we've played Lazio, beat them 2-0. Uh, Bonner with two goals there, very early on and very late on. So, quite happy with how we got in, got the result in that one. We then played Verona and beat them 3-0. Uh, Insignia and Tonelli getting the goals in that one. Very good game. No major issues. We then played uh, CSK Moscow. Beat them 3-0. 3-0 off the first half. Took our foot off the gas in the second and sort of slowed the pace a bit. But, got the win. To give us a three points, so we're going to get to the game against Inter after having a look at the competition. Like at the minute, we currently sit six points clear at the top of the leaderboard, and we play Inter now, so we can push that even further, or they can close the gap. You know, one or two, our goal difference difference is plus twenty eight. Absolutely amazing. Let's see if I go on to them, we'll actually see what we have. We got uh, thirty seven four. We only conceded nine, so I'm very happy with how we've been going. If we can keep that form going, we'll win the league this year. But I'm not going to say anything too much now, because no, a lot we won't. But Juventus are sitting in 7th, which is really surprising. They have 4 defeats on the bounce there. Against Sassuolo, Bari, Genoa and Roma. So it made more sense to do the Inter game, who are right on our tables, who can close the gap and give us a problem. But in the Champions League group, we are current stages-wise... We are currently sitting on 7, Valencia on 10. If we beat them, we go th go into second spot and go through to the next round of the Champions League. If we don't, and draw, if we draw or lose, we go into the Europa League. So this isn't all over yet, and it's going to be an interesting running. So we're going to get into the game against Inter. At the minute, we've got three injuries with Isco, Insigne, and Belotti. Belotti is out for another nine days and Signe for number 10 and Isco for number six which has been annoying since Belotti since the last episode Belotti's been out for all of it he's just been in, he got that injury and just we couldn't do anything about that so we've had other players having to come in to the top of the um structure and Bonaventura playing more Kuchka's playing a bit more Bonner's dropped deeper Casaro's come up again so hopefully we can have a good game they're playing a strong team uh, Gabriel Barbosa Rogatic, Andreva, Banea, Mario, Vlasic, Alcaldi, Miranda, Marulo, Vilda and Hanovic in goal so with being at home I hope we can have a good performance and get a good result but I never know what's going to happen in these games especially with it being the derby as well Hmm. Right, let's get going. <laughs> Out to Skelly has come straight inside there. Kuchka, Bonner. Out to Calvary. Puts it into the middle. Casaro heads it. Oh, he's hit the outside of the post already. It's only 20 seconds into the game. Right, we've got a finally got a corner. We've whipped it in. Murillo heads it. Gomez, Tonelli. He's hit the underside of the bar and they get it out from underneath. We could have had a goal there as well. It's a very close two corners we've had in this game. They had one and we've had one. Let's tell them we're not happy. And sort of see if they can kick the performance off. We've literally seen nothing. That's two highlights in the first half. All right, I'm going to have to do something. Let's drop Bonaventura back into the middle. And switch him and Matt around. Give him as the advanced playmaker and bring on Montalivo for Bonaventura. Well, they better the other way around. They better the other way around, so it's fine. And Tonelli, I'm a good game, but that's not bothering me. He got no. So I'll see if we can do that. So dominate the midfield a little bit more and see if. Because they're playing a 4 4 2 unless they've changed it to Skellio. And Kane gets in front of it. Are they going? Can we nick this off in Vlasic? Vida. 
and stop them. Gets it in. And Classic has an easy header, but is blocked by Vallejo. Luckily, um, they're coming forward again. And Draver into the middle. Donner punches it. Goes drop to Vlasic. Manager. Manage. Marulo. And they've got the best chance. Bonner. Where's he going? Into Thiago Maya. Cazaro. Maya. Locatelli. Through to Cazaro. Shoots oh, straight down the middle at Handanovic. That was probably our best chance so far. And it just went straight down the throat of Handanovic and should have been 1 0 to us there. Honoring on goal with him being floating in the middle. But I doubt it. And they've got a throw in. Can we not concede? Whew. Well, it ends 0 0, so they don't close the gap, but we don't extend it either. But it wasn't the best of games. We didn't have our best team out and we just couldn't score, basically. It just wasn't our. Uh, day and Casaro's finding it tough, but we'll probably have to bring up bring in a, another striker the way this is going because we've got no real backup after Bellotti and Bonner, and with Insigne getting injured as well, it never really helped. So, I'll see you back here in a minute for when we play Let's Valencia. Let's get straight again. into the next game against what's it? I can't remember now. Uh, Valencia quickly. Um, we had our first defeat of the season against Juventus. Simply, they just dominated and ran away with it. Had trip from Higuain and, and one from Dybala. Just couldn't do anything. They just ran away. Just, oh, excuse me, just too clinical for us, and we just couldn't get going. But we bounced back. It beat Atlanta one nil with Calabria. Calabria. Calabria um, scoring that one so we bounce straight back not too fast so this is the pivotal one for us against Valencia to see where we finish in the Champions League group we're going to take Insigne off use Bonner and Bellotti for now and hopefully be able to get a good result and yeah, I'm just going to go, with that's pretty much our strongest team. But this is Bellotti's first game, so we'll see how he does. And we'll take him off if we have to. And hopefully be able to get a good result. If we win, we get into the next round of the Champions League. If we don't, we go out to the Europa League. So it's sort of a big game in terms of where we're going to finish in the, this group. Um, we're away from home, which is the only disappointment. But we drew our home game. So I actually don't know how it No, we do need to win to get anything. I get to half time and we've had no highlights whatsoever. Completely disappointing. And I'm going to yell at them. I'm not happy. Because at least want to see something. Our strikers aren't performing anywhere near to what I expect them to. Minos, where's he going? Over the top with the wrist guy. Doesn't get anywhere. This guy's probably going to come off, and Blotty's going to come off the way this is going. And they've got another corner, and they've scored. That is annoying. We've had the best, apparently, been the better team, and they're the team that score. Yes, I know they've scored from a free free kick, a corner. Nanny just puts it up, and no one is marking at a at a at a nor. And this is really disappointing to concede that one. Come on, lads. Can we get a goal here? Or anything? Or even a highlight attacking their goal? Nope. We're not even going to have an attack. We just didn't get going. Didn't do anything. So, that's annoying. Don't be hard. But I'm going to tell I'm not happy. So, we beat um, CSK Moscow twice and drew and lost to Valencia and PSG. So, we're... Do we get the um, laser physio? I'm not going to do injections, knocked out. But the board was quite adequate with um, reached the group stage. Didn't ask us to get any further. So is there a Champions League, not Champions League, Europa League draw anytime soon? Let's just advance forward a little bit and have a look. Europa League, here we go. Reached the second knockout round. And we enter at the first. So... 
that will probably be being drawn there. So, if you've enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and next episode, we will, when I can see, we'll be coming back for the Europa League first round knockout, and we'll recap all these games, and we'll see how we're going on, guys. So, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.